good movie this is. Uh, all those Thank you. tonal shifts and plot twists, you know, I really didn't know what was gonna happen next. That sounds like a classic line, but it really definitely applies here. So you adapted your own movie. I'm sure you've gotten this a lot today, but um, <laughs> yeah. can you can tell me a little bit, first just about the, the filmmaking side of going from, from you know, going to a Hollywood production. Mm -hmm. Like, how is that uh, bigger or more creative or less creative than, than the original? Uh, I mean, it offers, you know, doing it on a bigger scale offers some uh, new opportunities, obviously. You know, you have more resources uh, for certain things. Uh, uh, we have a possibility of working with some, you know, world-class actors. Uh, you know, not only Liam, but also of other people. You know, Laura and Emmy and Tom Bateman and, uh, uh, yeah, so it... That in itself, of course, is attractive and, and offers some wonderful potential. But it's also a big, big investment. Um, you know, it's much more a business. The, the original is, you know, it's made, you know, by us, you know, which is, you know, we're just a little gang, you know, making a film, uh, which has its own freedom, you know, but you're just trying to make ends meet. And, uh, somebody... Uh, you know, go steal something from their grandmother's house to uh, put on the wall or whatever. <laughs> uh, so, you know, it, it's, but at the end of the day, you know, it's some people around the camera and, um, uh, and, and that's where it happens. Uh, uh, can you tell me about the, the, a little bit about the cultural differences that come from adapting a European story and turning it into, because when I was watching it, I was like, this is such a, like an Americana fueled story. It felt like a Western. Um, and tell, you know, tell me about that shift. Yeah, it is sort of a Western, you know, or uh, at least a, uh, a playful, a, 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 you know, a way of playing around with the Western genre, you know. Uh, but getting to that, uh, I think when you adapt it to, you know, to a new culture, you also have to absorb the, the you know, fundamental differences and the sort of resonance that that culture has uh, to the material. So instead of having Serb and, and Albanian crew, which was really something that was, uh, you know, we're being playful with in... Uh, and the original, uh, you have to go with something that's really, uh, you know, deeply American about it, you know. I think it works uh, very well. Okay, I'm really happy to hear that, actually. Um, and just last question really quick. Um, were there any, uh, any ideas or even sequences that you had in your mind for the original that you just didn't have the production values to accomplish that you were finally able to return to in this movie? I think there's, uh, in particular, a couple of scenes when uh, White Bull and his uh, crew comes to this hotel in, uh, up in the Rockies. Uh, uh, in the original, we never had the chance to really explore that to the fullest potential. Uh, same with the hang gliding, I think is uh, much better in this film. I think it's, uh, it's great music. Uh, uh, the crew uh, cheering him is, uh, yeah, I think uh, that, that has, evolved uh, and and gotten a different level in a way um, also partially had to do with the the fact that they're indigenous uh, people and on their own land